hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is mona j today i'm going to be talking about the airports in africa but mainly i'm going to focus more on liberia because of my own experience that i had when i went to liberia uh, within the airport with that being said i don't like to waste time so let's get right into the story most of us that have traveled uh, back home had um, experienced this when we pack our things spend tons of money it's risky going back home the staffs within the airports they steal stealing things out of people luggages reason why i don't know and nothing is being done about it it's terrible why do we have to worry about flying at the same time worrying about our luggages going to Africa. I'm sure tons of people had filed forms. A lot of people have done that. But like there's no there's no outcome. There's no good results on those complaints that have been filed. In my own case, when I went back home the first time, everything was fine. No no one stole anything from me because I got all my luggages the same day when we arrived. The second time when I went to Liberia 2022 literally last year i decided to get souvenirs for all those who stood by me doing uh, our traditional wed uh, you all know when your suitcase is um is overweight of course the charge is 200 dollars. i paid the 200 dollars for that suitcase to add insult to my injury my carry-on that i had also they say was overweight or it the size doesn't fit as a carry on so they charged me another two hundred dollars when i got to new york i spent a night in new york they also charged me a hundred and ninety dollars for the same carry on long story short when i got to liberia um uh, most it wasn't just me a lot of people luggages got left behind i received one Plus my my the carry on that it took for me that it had to push through. That is the main one I was worried about because I have my electronics, laptops, uh, like people phones that he gave me. I had a lot of phones for people that I took. I was so worried. The B suitcase that I left behind. They gave me a claim form. They told me Air Morak. Mm hmm morac i got the claim forms and we left i went to nima i was going to be on the next flight uh that monday the following monday and i thought my case were worse but this lady she traveled with her husband and i think four children they took seven suitcases i mean the big ones seven and the only thing they got it was only one suitcase and their carry-ons of course i feel sorry i feel bad and i feel sorry for them there's another guy that was panicking where they almost got into a fight i went to nima i had to, i had to call them they told me that oh yeah the suitcase came you know those if of course when they give you the claim form they tell you that you can either go to the airport and pick it up or the staff will take it to their local office emora local office and you can get your luggages from there of course i was in Nima. i came back on um, monday but by the time we got to um, morovia it was already late they were closed so early morning i'm over there 12 12 street think or something like that i'm still getting used to the streets and the names in liberia okay um i went there they brought my suitcase out as they're bringing it i knew something was wrong with my suitcase the guy brought it. I was like, my my suitcase seems like y'all took stuff out of it. He said, no, we had to weigh so <laughs> oh God. They weighed my suitcase. Like I said, my suitcase was overweight, right? This guy weighed my suitcase. It was 13 pounds less. 13 pounds. So the things they took out of my suitcase weighed 13 pounds. Imagine. 
the security guy that works there, while the manager is there, assistant manager is there, who were with that position, the room they even took it out of, those two other girls sitting in their crank or leg. I don't know whether she at work or whatever she's doing. Maybe she's the one that was doing the work in the back. But anyway, the man said my suitcase came like that. And you know the claim form, right? They put the weight, the size of the suitcase and the weight of the suitcase. I was like, if my suitcase came like that, this is what I got from the airport. And I took a picture of my luggages. I was like, this, this is it. How come, what are you talking about? Like he was already pissing me off. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Why would my suitcase come like this? Like, I don't have sense. He said, ma'am, well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. But the funny thing this man told me, all of them were listening to our conversation with the manager. They just, there you go, library and the workers. The man had the mind to tell me, I have the pictures, have the mind to tell me that, that all my three suitcases combined, <laughs> the clear phone they gave me in the airport. It said that all my suitcases are uh, weight combined. That's what they gave me. So now that he weighing the suitcase by itself, that's why it's uh it's 13 pounds less. So I show him this is my red suitcase, 24 kg. This is my carry-on 24, and this one is 55. So how come I, I went off? Even though I went there with strangers, like I was not trying to display or anything. And I say, who's the manager? The manager is there. This lady ignored me like, like I don't even exist. I was not even within the office complaining. She sat there pretending to be so busy. You know, like if you go, so, go into Air Morat, even the manager, the, all of them are right there. The desk, they're right there. There's literally, there's no way you even, whispering somebody ear that they will not hear you so like, that's how close proximity it is from where they were in the suitcase no one could even acknowledge me and i told her i said like, you're, you're hearing me i'm complaining that your staff or you you're you're opening my suitcase and took stuff out i pressed my suitcase down and i told them all of them i got all of them attention i said you see this why would I travel with my suitcase like this? What are you even talking about? You know that someone took stuff out of my suitcase. So I was like, I know how you'll be stealing. Their excuse was, or oh, the lack is still on, on, on the suitcase. So how do you think someone opened it? I said, I know how you gonna be opening people's suitcases. I know my suitcase were tempered with, and none of you trying to help me. In front of them, I took on my earring. I display my ghetto nestle. I took out my earring. You know the zip? That's what they do. Someone did that within the airport. That's how I learned it. They said they can open people's suitcase at the airport. You think because lack is on it, they, they won't get to your stuff? They will. And they have been. That's how they've been stealing from people within the airport and outside. They were looking. So I took out my earring. Let me let me show you. See where this, where this thing is? You see the zip right here? They... I don't know how close. See this thing right here? They use the earring, poke it. As they're poking it, they will put their finger within it, like push it down. It's going to open. Then they use their hand to open it. So wherever they lock it when they finish, they're just going to go over it like this. See? It's going to close back. Mm -hmm. I just had to show that for a little bit. That's how they open people's suitcases over there. Even talking about it, I'm pissed right now. And I open it in front of them. If you see within my suitcase, scatter everything, everywhere, like in and out. They took everything else. Whatever they wanted or whatever they liked, they took them out. And anything that they didn't like or just so they won't take everything. It's like, I don't know if I should even cry. I was so angry to wear. I don't know. If you know me, when I'm really, really angry, you know my voice can start trimming. I don't even know what to say. All I need to do is just punch somebody in the face. And this lady is still not acknowledging me. Like you did this to a customer or all of you did this to a customer. And there's no word of apology from her or any of them in the office. They're still standing at ground that no one opened the suitcase. Everything within it is gone.
So what are you here defending? So I told them it's either it happened within this office because the suitcase came yesterday, according to y'all. It happened within the office or it happened on their way from the airport to, to bring them here. No one could say no one could say anything to me. And they say I have to sign it. As I sign what? Sign that I receive my suitcase. As I I'm not signing anything. Receive my suitcase at what condition? If you give me a paper to write and you sign it, give it to me that I receive my luggage with 10 pounds less, then I will sign it. She says, I know you're forced to sign. Now she's coming in to talk. All she needed me to do is to sign the paper. As I know, I'm not gonna sign it because that means I'm falsifying information. You guys stole from me and you're giving me a paper to sign that I receive my suke. Receive my suke in what condition? The lady said there's nothing she could do to help me. All she can do, she gave me an email address to uh, file the complaint with uh, Air Morak. Because they know to get through there is international, of course. To get through Air Morak is a hassle. So that's all she could say to me. She gave me an email, oh, email there and file your complaint, but you have to sign the paper. I have heard a lot of people complain about how their things being stolen, their shoes being stolen from Af in that Africa, Mo mostly Liberia. I'm advising everybody to use the same methods. If you don't want to use it, that's, that's your problem. If you have your own way, that's good. But what I did that I was still able to get some of my shoes out of the, the luggage that they gave me, I divided my shoes up. I will have one heel in one suitcase and the other heel in the other one. Sneakers in one, the other sneaker in the other one. I divided them up. So most of the shoes were still in the luggage that they gave me. They couldn't take them because they just, of course, one single pair. What did they do? They couldn't steal them. Those are most of the things that they left there. If you are traveling to Liberia because they're sitting over there, that there's no control from the manager down to the people that are be taking your suitcase, hauling them to help you to take it outside. All of them can steal, no exception. It's bad. It's bad. You traveling back home, worrying about flying, making sure, asking God for you to make it like safe and sound. And at the same time, you worrying over luggages. And where when something happened, they can't do anything about it. The airline cannot help. The branch within Liberia, they're terrible just as the branch in Morocco. They can't help anybody. After everything got done, I left their office. I reached out to them. I sent them multiple emails, calls. I was in Liberia when I started calling those people. I talked to somebody before that said, oh, I should write, I should write down everything i was missing out of my luggage which i did i emailed it to them when i got back to the u.s same thing like i'm telling y'all straight three months straight three months i tried to get to emora to where on whatsapp on facebook messenger emails at the same time i'm calling them some day they will respond to the email they were working on it Few weeks later, they will give me a reminder that they're still working on my case, and they will send me a link to submit another another form with every evidence and my own statement. I have done that multiple times. So last minute, I think the fourth month, November, they responded to my email stating that we apologize for the inconvenience that MRI has caused you. But with the information provided, we don't have concrete evidence for them to proceed on with the case any further. I say, what's in? Air Mora, the very, very stupid, foolish airline. They're just as stupid as their workers in, in Liberia. And yes, I will cost all of them in our office. The damn freaking stupid, foolish people, thief. I don't know why they're not doing something. Y'all, the same people, y'all be complaining that y'all don't have job. Government are not providing jobs. Government not doing it. Government not doing that. Half of you, when you're in a position, all y'all do is keep stealing, but y'all keep complaining about government being corrupt. Government doing this. Government doing that. They don't give your job. Some of y'all, 
that have been lucky now to get a job, you don't even treat it well. You still in when they fire you from the job now, what what are you gonna do? Or some of you feel like maybe some of you sleeping with the boss, they be boss then that they can't take they can't take your position away. So you're just do foolishness, stupidness to people and just get away with it. Because after you finish, you you go sleep with the boss. They will then let everything go, they will wait for everything. But without spending our hard earned money to travel, your feet say you will picking the money off the floor, or I have some kind of baby vomiting money inside one of my room, the way the Nigerian movie they can be showing us. Nobody have any babies vomiting money or money tree somewhere sitting here. We'll buy those stuff, we'll work for them, we'll buy those stuff to travel with, or some of them, even for a family member. People here give you things to carry when you carry, you take people things with you. Then when you take them, they steal them from the airport. The people think they will actually take, they request that money back. Your thing is free. You're just evil. Some of you know that when you take people's stuff, laptop or computer, I mean laptop or phones, and foolish you're over there. When you're finished stealing it, we have to pay the people money back. Nothing can happen in like brother for it to be so. From where to the airport there, somebody will steal from you and that airport and nothing will be done about it. It's terrible. So many people they are traveling, locks or no locks, they will steal out of your suitcase. Let me tell you, the only thing that is safe with you, if you're taking people phone, people laptops, um, you are taking any electronics for people, always put them in your carry on. You know, you are allowed carry on and you also allow a backpack. I'm sure most of you know, we all have traveled. You are allowed a carry on and your backpack, which is with the women with our, our handbag, our purses. If you're taking any electronics for people, it's better to be safe than risking your things with those people over there in Africa, in the airport. And no one will take those things from you. Your things will be safer. I don't know about other airports in Africa, um, Ghana, Nigeria, um, what is it, Ethiopia, all those African countries. I don't know, or Kenya. I don't know how their airport system works. But I'm warning you, if you're going to Liberia, make sure your things are secure. They're going to steal them at the airport. If your luggage ever get left behind, they're going to steal everything from you and nothing is going to be done about it there will be no solution have your handbag if you're a female have your backpack if you're a guy with that being said this was my own experience in liberia um the second time that i went home and my luggage got left behind that's what happened to me until now the things i lost i'm very sure is over a thousand plus and Nothing was done. And they know in Liberia, they know things like that when it happen. There's no solution. There's no consequences. So they do those things and get away with them. For us, as the, us the travelers, we just have to be mindful and careful when we're traveling. If this hasn't happened to you, that's good. But me, it happened to me once. And I try to be smart as I can, but how smart can you be with those people over there? Once your luggage get there, it's, it's Lucky ticket, like when people say, God keep doing what you're doing. 99 day for real, one day for master. We, I was saying, in fact, me, myself, I will be praying against you. You will lose your job then. For doing, I'm talking about those that don't know the importance of their jobs, that are doing those things to travelers that are traveling to, uh, to Liberia. Is, is it a crime? We don't even go to, me, I, I'm not talking about other people. Me, when I travel home, they say when you're in Rome, you act like the rooms, right i don't travel and miss being be acting to people like i'm on top of this i'm off top. in fact as, as soon as my phone enter that airport i start behaving ghetto i start all the library inside me come out <laughs> it's true <laughs> we all start our draft behavior if somebody asks me for something if i won't give it i just give it my people please help me to share subscribe and comment if there's something, if your own experience traveling to Liberia, you'd like to share with me for me to talk about, let me know. I won't mind talking about it. Uh, with that being said, stay tuned. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.